Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day six. Oh my god, we're flying it. I can't believe it's actually like what, 19 days to Christmas. I'm actually not able. <laughs> to the Murdoch market. Oh, look at the little ship, but I was saying the other day that we should go on that. I didn't realize it was so small. <laughs> I think it's so cute that they have little rides. Oh, and here we have all the queues. <laughs> the hawk truck for some donuts. <laughs> Guys, look how gorgeous the decorations are. So yummy! one no Maeve look at this isn't it so fab so we're going to sketch we're going to sketch we're going to sketch <laughs> rest and recovery <laughs> look at my prosecco it's in like a little cocktail glass oh 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 okay never mind <laughs> holy moly <laughs> In today's episode, so you're just after seeing a little bit of yesterday, so myself and Maeve went to got brunch, went to the Mardike Market, went to sketch, so there's a few little clips there, but there wasn't enough, because it's about three minutes, to do a full video. And then I thought, you loved my last haul so much, the Black Friday haul, kind of Christmassy bits. I picked up some gorgeous Christmas kind of staples, a mixture between daytime stuff, accessories, and nighttime stuff from Mango in Shaw's in Waterford. So I'm gonna just go through that and do a little mango haul for you today. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. And as always, there will be a prize, so I will leave that information in the description. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to me in for the chance to win. Firstly, we have this gorgeous, like, split neutral, nearly bat wing. It's so baggy top. I did get this in like a medium, and um, there was no smaller sizes, but it actually fits me kind of perfectly. And it is so, so soft. The quality of mango is like top notch. Really like that the price is really good as well. It's kind of like premium high street, but also kind of normal high street prices so it's really handy really really nice and there's no mango in cork um so i was delighted when i heard that shaws have one now in waterford limerick there's one in dublin somewhere i'll leave all of the locations of the shaws that have a mango as well so you can go for a trip there and do a little shopping spree so this is my first one my first item that i picked up and wait until you see the puffer jacket that i have for over it you're gonna love this it's like a literal walking duvet came in black this color i think like a pastel pink like look at this now i'm a bit low-key scared we're wearing with makeup on so i'm gonna wear like a scarf underneath it but like it fully closes up like a duvet it's super puffy really soft and a really nice length i'll just zoom me down there so you can have a look so it goes down to just below my bum so it covers the bum and then these are the boots that i paired with it from mango as well they are so so comfy i was saying on my instagram when i showed them that they're literally like the style and the look and the chunkiness of docks but they're a lot softer they're not as tight on the ankle but they have like that really nice kind of chunky look they're very similar to my all saints boots but my all saints have elastic on the top but they're really big and clunky have that kind of heel going on and then the zip is at the back but when they're on they're really really soft and because they're not so tight around your ankle you have a lot more flexibility in them so if you like the look of clunky boots but you find that they're not comfy these ones are literally so so soft they don't need to be broken in or anything which I know some people have issues with when it comes to docks, but that is kind of like a perfect daytime winter wear, going to Christmas markets, want to look funky but still be comfortable and warm. I would definitely recommend to wear like a tight body warmer or even like a tight pole neck top, but there's actually one here that would work perfectly under it. Also for mango, I'm going to put this on for my next look so so easy to wear and just because it's tight and super soft and stretchy it'll keep that body warmth in which is essential i am going to do kind of a 
tips and tricks of how to dress for the cold video. A lot of you found that really interesting when I found that TikTok and posted on my Instagram of the girl putting her tights on over leggings and stuff. So I'll try to come up with a few tips. I'll try to find some tips from other people and I'll kind of collaborate a video together with some tips and tricks for dressing and looking nice but also being warm because I'm going to Paris and in February and it's going to be like minus 10 degrees, snowing, raining, all the rest of it. But I still want to look prizzy and chic, you know what I mean? So god love me trying to dress for that but yeah this is my duvet sleeping bag jacket it would be so perfect as well in the black i don't know if it's 100 percent waterproof and it doesn't have a hood but you could just put a pop on like a little beanie or something with it and you will be good to go like winter whites essential the elite i always oh, oh winter whites is just Bow down queen, I love you. So this is the brown tight uh, top that I was showing you. So there's this lovely frill kind of a detail on the neck and on the sleeve and the sleeves are really nice and long which I think is nice to cover the pale hands but also to keep them low key warm. Now this one would go under any sort of a jumper as your body warmer for those high neck just because it does come up a little bit. But this came in black green, uh, black green cream and another few colors so definitely like it's really flattering on could be worn on its own or underneath something i just said i'd pop it on there to show you how it looks with the cream just in case you're not a cream on cream person and you prefer a darker color underneath it's still super flattering like this you could wear with anything black green cream bright colors it's just definitely a must-have i actually really like the idea of like pulling up the sleeves and showing the kind of wrist details very funky but this isn't the jacket i wanted to show you for with this top it's this jacket and you know i'm mad with 30 wears and wearing something literally day in day out and also a few people have asked for like kind of packing tips and how to make the most out of the clothes that you bring away with you because i know a lot of you are heading on city breaks or staycations and you can't bring a massive suitcase with you so you want to make the most out of the things that you do bring and get as many different looks out of them so let me show you this jacket it's gonna solve all your problems because it's two jackets in one this is our jacket it is a brown suede on the outside and a fur on the inside now you can wear the sleeves down let me just throw it on so you can get a better idea so this is how she looks you can wear it with the sleeve turned up again if you want to make it a little bit cropped or show off the wrist detail or you can wear it like long like this let me know which one you prefer when it comes to neutrals as you know i prefer color but when it comes to neutrals i prefer kind of like the creams and beiges and stuff i think brown and black i don't know it just doesn't suit me that much but i'm a fan of this I really like it with the sleeves rolled up. I really like it pulled up like this. I think it'd be so nice with like a brown scarf, a little hat, and it has these little boxy pockets in the front that you could fit your phone or wallet mask in, and then it just gets better. It just gets better, people. Let's say you've worn this on day one of your trip, and you want a different jacket for the pictures the next day, or even during the day, you can do an outfit change. So you just turn it inside out, and then you have the cutest brown teddy jacket like adorable and again you could pull up the sleeves if you wanted to do with the opposite way around but i don't know if i would do with the opposite way around so i actually scrapped that but it looks so cute doesn't it all furry and cozy and then this is what it looks like zipped up i just thought it looked really nice this way because you have like the brown against the brown it's really flattering on and this color brown is like more like a tan but so so cute and really cozy even though the fur is outside it's still super duper cozy which i love let me know in the comments below which way do you prefer to turn to the suede out or the fur out and then next up we have this gorgeous black party dress it's like kind of a velvet velour feel i'm gonna show it to you it's really flattering on it has a nice kind of a scrunched stomach on it so it's not too tight it has a nice length to it you can pull it down a little bit but it does ride up a tiny bit just because of the roof shine but it's actually not like too too short i just love anything that's one shouldered and i think that the black velvet looks so like festive and you really have to tie one arm so that is this dress it's really pretty from the back as well and then i just match that with the same boots these like black combat boots they look so cool i feel like since lockdown it's rare to see me in heels i'm just like all about the comfort life and i think that when you're wearing short dresses you can get away with the kind of funky boots and then i'm matching it with this green bag just to make sure that we have the festive vibes flowing you could definitely wear this more like a clutch and have the um you could actually probably tuck this in could you you can't take it off you could definitely hold it under your arm and just have a kind of like you know the way the prada ones have the 
kind of bit of metal hanging on it, like a chain like that. Or else you can actually wear it like a bag, which is so cool. And it's like a really nice size for going out at night time. I'd say you could wear it day or night, but it is more of a nighttime bag. Like you could fit loads into this. Oh look! There's a, okay, you could definitely wear this more like kind of Prada style bag too, because you can actually put this crossbody chain on it, which will make it very, very like casual wear. I wonder it's so big and like flexible, which is what I love about these sort of bags. I hate ones that you can't fit anything in. Like it's nice and flexible, so you can literally stuff things into it. So it has like, let me just show you the insides of it there now. So we have like the inside pocket, which has like a zip, so you can put your phone, passport, or whatever else in that, ID, purse, and then there's like the two big sides. Maybe put your umbrella in it. You can nearly fit a spare dress in this side, but like look how cool it is when you wear it more cash. With the chain, like this is majorly giving me Louis Vuitton Prada vibes for like a tenth of the price. Now I don't know if I'd wear it this way with this sort of a dress, because this is more dressy. But like this over like even one of those jackets with like black jeans or something. Really, really cool and really comfortable to wear and not too heavy at all. Really cool. I love that it comes with this second handle. It makes it very versatile. Even wearing this for like a Christmas jumper over it would be really cool for doing like 12 pubs or something. And then you could like whip it off another time and wear it like this. And another tip trick is because it's a short dress, you could actually roll it up so much that you could tuck it into jeans or leggings and just wear it like a top. 30 wears guys, I'm telling you, 30 wears is the way ahead. Be as versatile as you can and wear your clothes in as many ways as you can. You could wear this as a top, you could wear it as a dress, you could wear it as a skirt, you could wear a jacket over it, you could wear something under it. Get creative, because you won't regret it and you'll get so much more wear out of your clothes. And another tip trick with those like tight dresses is, they actually will keep you warm. So you could wear them underneath a flowy lighter dress because anything that's tight is gonna keep you warmer, like I was saying with the long sleeve. So you could wear a dress like this, obviously only one arm is gonna be a bit warmer, but just a tip trick going forward if you have any dresses like this, wear them under your light material flimsy dresses to keep you warm or even a pair of like thermal shorts and a long sleeve top because then you can definitely wear your dresses like this. Even in your minus 10 Parisian, um, claim it with like a jacket over it and tights once you have something really warm underneath you. But I thought that this was a gorgeous like Christmas day dress because it's a nice length. On me I'd probably have to get it taken up a bit because it's not, and this is just me being a five footer, it's just like by my knee so it's not midi or mini so I'd probably get it taken up. You could definitely pull it up as well because it has like the little belt on it. It is more kind of pleated though so I'd probably get it taken up or else put like a big chunky belt on it wear like black thigh high boots or something or else tights and low black boots black heels whatever or else you could definitely pull it down a bit and wear it a little bit longer if you're taller but it's just such a pretty shade and I love the kind of pleats going through it and the shoulder pads are gorgeous very Christmassy and a kind of unusual shade of green I'd probably still put this bag with it even though it is a different shade of green especially if I was wearing like black high boots Maybe you pair it with a black leather blazer. And then we have a really funky bag as well. And again, you could wear it more casual or else more dressy. So that is all I have to show you from Mango today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And this is all for today's vlog. It's a little bit of a short one. But tomorrow, I was actually meant to be going to a Lululemon event. And I was going to do a video, Lululemon versus Sweaty Betty. Because I know that's one that you really wanted to see. But it's actually been cancelled because of the storm. Um, and it's on Wednesday instead. But I'm actually going ice skating Wednesday. So I won't be able to attend the event. But I will bring you ice skating with me. I know some of you are really looking forward to seeing my ice skating vlog during the weekend and we're going to Conway's, the pub in town, because they're after turning some of their cabins in there into like um, ski cabins. But our plans changed and we didn't get around to going. But we'll definitely end up going and it'll be part of Vlogmas anyway. And I'm still going ice skating on Wednesday, so I'll bring you with me there. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Like I said, there will be a prize. I will let you know what the prize is for this um, episode video in the description below. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.